Hey guys, it's Steve with Raven Watches, and I just finished dropping off all the ventures. Took me about a week to get them shipped. Uh, wasn't bad. I was working alone, and um, it was 150 watches, so it took a while. Um, I haven't made a video for a while, and I think it's just because of uh, winter and. I didn't have much to say and I feel bad about that though I'm losing my editing skills when I don't make a video so I'm gonna put together a video showing the uh, the shipping process of the ventures and now that the uh, ventures are all shipped I can take some time to edit this video so let's go back a week and see what that process looked like This morning we're expecting the ventures to arrive uh, via FedEx uh, sometime before 10:30, and right now it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning um, and uh, I've got some work to do here to clean up the office because um, I don't have a big office and when the watches arrive I need to spread out I need to spread the watches out I need to sort through them um, I need to get all my shipping boxes ready and I basically have to create an assembly line the watches are in the house got a couple of these boxes like this full of ventures I'm gonna be uh, organizing the office space today getting ready to start the shipping probably on Monday so what I need to do is open these up get all the watches out go through some quality control checks and uh, look through every piece uh, one at a time and print off all the labels for the uh, pre-orders which I have here, I've been keeping a list of uh, everybody that's paid. We have about 150 pre-orders to ship. So uh, I'm, for the most part, going to be working alone. I'm, I'm going to have some help on this, but uh, uh, just be patient with me next week as I get these out. Um, very nice. So... One of the details um, that I worked with after the sample was getting the end link to be very crisp and detailed with that edge and lined up with the case. And they did an excellent job of uh, reworking that end link to have more definition in the centerpiece. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with the way that looks. So I know it doesn't look glamorous with the styrofoam and the wrapping, but these are well protected and this is manufacturing. Um, I, you know, those high-end watches at the boutiques, some guy in a suit and white gloves didn't carry it from the factory to the store. So this is part of uh, manufacturing. This is what it looks like. And uh, yeah, these are very well packaged and shipped to me. There's no damage at all. So now I'm going to go through each one, one at a time for uh, final QC checks. Right. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. So that was the delivery um, of the shipping boxes, the actual cardboard boxes. We have the leather boxes that arrived also last month in those boxes and these will be the boxes we use to package everything up. So here I've set out 150 shipping boxes. These are all the watches I need to ship this week. So I've got them in uh, batches of 25 so I'll probably break this down to 25 orders at a time uh, and just kind of chip away at this.
got the first one boxed up. Uh, it took me longer than I want it to take, so, but I now know the, the weight of one box, so I can streamline the label process um, a lot faster, and then maybe just box these up, write the customer's name on it, and then match the labels to the boxes um, when I have that done. So it's gonna take all week, maybe next week too. Uh, but let's turn the music on and get started with the assembly line process. It's, uh, it's Tuesday morning. Last night I came in and I got these boxed up and getting ready to start the next batch here. Uh, but I'm gonna take a break and get this over to my friend, uh, Darren, who's uh, the dive master over at uh, Midwest Aquatics. He's getting ready to go on a trip to South Africa this week. I think he leaves in like two days. So I'm gonna get this over to him so he can take it to South Africa. And then I'll come back here and uh, get the rest is packed up, but I want him to have that watch so we can do a write up on his trip and uh, what they did, and maybe get some cool shots of the venture in action. So here we are at Midwest Aquatics, a uh, good place to go scuba diving if you're um, in Kansas, this, this is the place to go get trained up. Uh, I've had a lot of lessons here and will continue doing my scuba lessons probably this summer here. Um, but let's go inside and uh, have a look. By the way, uh, there's still some Benares watches here that I forgot about. If anybody's interested in these, uh, let me know and I can come pull them out of this inventory and uh, ship them to you. Uh, I actually forgot they were here and I haven't been in here for a while and I just came in and thought, wow, uh, there's some inventory. So anyways, I'm gonna track down Darren and deliver the venture. Okay, it's Tuesday. I got the first batch ready. 39 boxes heading out. I got 147 total to do. So I think it'll take all week. Today's Tuesday, so Wednesday I'll be working late again. And then uh, maybe Friday work late again. Hey guys, it's Thursday and I just finished 
QCing and boxing up these 36 watches. Uh, I need to just put the final wrapper on them and uh, take them down to the post office. So today's Thursday, 36 more done. I wanted to come in last night, but I didn't make it. So I feel a little behind. I may have to make up for that tonight or uh, Friday night. Today's Friday, uh, I'm only about halfway done. I was hoping to be almost all the way done, but I'm battling a slight head cold, and so I wasn't able to come in last night or work at night the last couple nights. So I'm having to catch up. Uh, I'm hoping to get everything shipped by Monday. Uh, when I get back from the post office, dropping these boxes off, then uh, I'm gonna run the rest of the shipping labels. So. Halfway there. Hey guys, it's Friday night and I just finished all the labels. That's the left, sorry. That's the last of the labels. And some of those piles are 10 labels deep. So I think I have about 70 watches left to ship. Uh, but it's Friday night. I've been here all day. I'll probably come in tomorrow and work on boxing these up. And I'm going to try to get all these out on Monday. So we'll see how it goes. That would be one week of shipping. So shooting for Monday. Have a good night. All right, <clears throat> Saturday morning. I'm still not feeling the best, but I'm coming in here to do the final push on the Venture shipping. And so what I've done here is I've put them all on the floor. I've laid them out. This is kind of how I work, because I don't have a lot of desk space. So, let me switch over here. I've basically, this is the final push of all the Ventures that need to get out of here. Um, I've laid them all out, made sure that everything's accurate. Okay. Well, it's Monday morning, and I didn't get to come in over the weekend. I, I really got sick on the Saturday. It took me out. I was in bed all day Sunday. So, I feel a lot better today, getting over it, um, but I'm a little bit behind on the shipping. I want to get it all done today though, because, uh, well, it can be done. And then, uh, I just got some things I want to move on to. Um, I'm working on the Endeavor project, and I've got another kind of project I'm working on, secret project, can't talk about that right now, so, so what? This morning is about, uh, well it says 30 degrees on the <clears throat> thermometer here. It was, uh, God, I'm gonna wake up. I need to go get some coffee. It was 16 degrees this morning when I woke up, and by Wednesday, it may be 60 Fahrenheit here. So, I wanna get the shipping done and other things done so that I can go out and enjoy the weather on Wednesday. Anyways, I'm delivering the first batch right now I have uh, one more big push when I go back to the office I'll do uh, one more push today try to get everything out before the doors close here at the post office but, uh, all right let me unload this stuff
All right, taking the last load of ventures to the post office. Monday, 4.40, I go to the, uh, the hub down here that closes at five o'clock. That way I avoid the post office lines and uh, just ring the buzzer and just drop them off at the main, main hub. But I'm feeling pretty good now because, well, not health wise, but uh, <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty good about getting these ventures out. Uh, it took me about one week, 150 ventures, QC'd, labels, boxed, put together and everything, put in a couple late nights. Uh, was unable to do a couple late nights because I wasn't feeling well. Uh, but I'm just I'm glad that it I'm glad that it's done. And uh, yes, yeah, so today started out at 16 degrees this morning, and now it's 40. And then by Wednesday it's going to be 60. So I'm glad to have the order shipped so that I can um, maybe get outside on Wednesday and enjoy it when it's 60 degrees out. Here I am at the hub. It's just right around the corner from my office. It makes it really convenient to drop these off. 